Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Sensei Touch 2 Smart Thermostat, which we've got right here. This was just launched in the spring of 2023 and is a smart Wi-Fi thermostat that allows you to control it from your phone. So you can take your phone and just turn the temperature up right here and it's going to change right on the thermostat and you can see that it is now heating because it turned orange and it also turns orange on the app right there. So this Wi-Fi smart thermostat is also compatible with Google Home and Amazon Alexa voice assistants, which means that you can control it remotely from those voice assistants using voice commands in addition to being able to control it from your phone. Now, one of the most unique features of the Sensei Touch 2 smart thermostat is that it does work with Sensei room sensors, which you can place throughout your home and then connect to the Sensei Touch 2 and then allow you to control the temperature in those rooms specifically with the Sensei room sensors. So it's a nice way to both monitor the heating and cooling throughout your home, as well as control the heating and cooling in a particular room. Now you're still going to have to adjust your ventilation and temperatures to get those rooms dialed in, but it's nice that it has the option to use those sensors. Let's take a closer look at the display and some of the features. So it is a color touchscreen and it's very responsive as well as the colors are very clear. You can turn up and down the heating and cooling right here by using this plus or minus symbol. It shows you the current temperature in the room, which is 72, and then our temperature set point, which we've got to 62 right now. Now down in the bottom, it also shows a humidity level. It's currently 36% humidity, and it shows us what mode we're in. So we're currently in heating mode, and it shows you that our fan is on automatic mode. Now up here at the top, we've got our menu, and there you go, you've got your remote sensor connectivity right there. So if you wanna add those sensors we talked about, you can do so. In here, you also have display options for your home screen content, what you would like on there, your humidity, display time, and degree units. You can go in here and also adjust your sleep mode. So how often you want this to go to sleep or after what amount of time you want it to go to sleep. And then the screen brightness, display time, and temperature set points. So let's click back out of this and click back out of this again. And we can click back in that menu. If you wanted to, you can schedule this. Let's click here on the schedule and if you wanted to turn your schedule on or off you can do it right here but you edit the schedule through the sensei app which we'll take a look at in a moment you've got then an about thermostat which has some of your serial numbers your wi-fi connection and then you have advanced setup if you have features like humidifiers and dehumidifiers you can adjust those settings here now let's click back out of this and click back here to go to the home screen. And here, if I wanna change between heating and cooling, I just click on this symbol here and you've got the option for heat, cool, auto, or off. And you can change between any of these. So if you click on auto, that's going to give you two temperature set points. And that's going to show you a temperature set point for your heating and a temperature set point for your cooling. So you can adjust each one of those individually. We'll throw it back into heat mode here. Now you also have fan control. So you can have auto fan control, which means it's gonna turn on any time your heating and cooling system goes on. Or you can have your fan on all the time if you click it over here or you can circulate the fan. And if you click here, it's gonna give you an option, minutes of runtime per hour for your fan, just to circulate air throughout your home. So let's click back out of this and now take a look at the app. Here we've got the Sensei app and our Sensei Touch 2 smart thermostat pulled up. It shows us our current location, Chicago, as well as the current temperature and the highs and lows for the day. From the app, I can make an adjustment of the heating temperature by just clicking right here, and you'll see that that's gonna change on the thermostat. It shows that it's now 76, and the orange numbers indicate that it is currently heating, as well as on the app, it shows that it's orange for heating. Now, if I wanted to turn it down, I just click right here, and then you're gonna see that the heating is gonna go off in just a minute. Now it's at 65, and this screen turns back to a more neutral color. I can change from heating to cooling down here, and if I wanna make a selection between heating or cooling, I just click there, or I can put it in auto mode or off, just like we showed you on the display itself. So I'm gonna leave it in heat mode, and then you can make those same adjustments as from the fan, as we showed you earlier, 
on auto or circulating, as well as here you can click on schedule. And now if you wanna adjust your schedule, you can do so from the app. So currently I have it set to a program schedule, but you could click no schedule and then it's gonna have no schedule at all, or you can use geofencing. Let's leave it in the program schedule mode and then edit our schedule. So if I click down here on edit schedule, I've got a cool schedule, a heat schedule, an auto schedule. I can click on the I button and that's gonna give me more information about my schedule. So you can say I have a weekday schedule, Monday through Friday, and then it's got different times and set points. So I just click on that set point and I can adjust that set point up or down by clicking right here. And then I can adjust the time by moving that dial right there. And then I just click done and that will be saved if I click save. Now I've got a weekend schedule down here, but I could adjust any of these days as needed for different set points. And you can add as many different day groups as you want, but I've got mine set up with a Monday through Friday and then a basic weekend schedule. So let's click save up here at the top. Now, if I wanted to change my heat schedule, I would click in there, but we'll show you the auto schedule because it's a little different. You have two set points here. You click right here, and then you can change your cool set point and your heat set point individually, as well as a time. So we'll just change that to 7 a.m. And then if I wanted to create a new day group, I could do so. And then we'll just have it for Sunday, and you've got a whole new schedule for Sunday. So let's click save on that, and then we're going to click back on scheduling. I've got an early start, and what that does is that it's gonna heat or cool ahead of time to reach your set point temperature. So let's turn that on because I want it to be exactly that temperature at a certain time. Now we're just going to click done and that's gonna take us back to our home screen. Now, because I just installed this today, it doesn't have it in there, but you can click on your usage and it's going to show you a daily usage report and monthly usage report for your device so that you can track your energy usage and see how efficient you are using the Sensei Touch 2 smart thermostat. Now I've got a couple more settings up here. If I click on the gear button, you can change your display options like we showed you there. You've got your system settings here. If you wanted to lock out the thermostat display, you could do so. You can control your humidity and dehumidification from right here. And then you've got some temperature limits for your cooling minimum set point, your heat max set point, and then you've got cycle rates. So you can adjust your cycle rates. If your heating and cooling is turning off too often, you can change this from medium to high or low and adjust that within your home. You've also got temperature offsets so that if one room is slightly warm or cold, you could have that adjusted up to five degrees either way. You've got the same thing with your humidity offsets. And then you have AC protection, which is a short delay when AC is quickly turned off and then on to prevent damage. We wanna do that, so we'll click that over there. That's just a nice feature that they add in there. You also can change service reminders for if you wanna make sure you've got your air filters changed every three months or every six months, you can do that. Put your notes size and brand in there. I do like that it lets you have the size in there and put some notes in so that you know exactly what you need to order. So I'm just gonna click cancel on that and discard the changes and we'll set that up at another time. Now you've got your name, location, time. You can have your contractor info in there if you wanna put a phone number in there for whoever you use for HVA service. So if you have any issues, you can quickly reference that. And then your about thermostat, that's just gonna be some information like your MAC address and other settings pertinent to if you had to do any diagnostics on this. You also have an energy savings program down here. And if you have available utility rebates, it's a great way to be able to enroll in those, but we aren't currently in a location that we're gonna have any available energy saving programs for this particular thermostat. So we're going to click done. And that is pretty much all the settings that we've got on the Sensei Touch 2 app. So I've been testing out the Sensei Touch 2 smart thermostat for about a week. And some of the things I really like about it are it's very clear, bright display. In terms of installation, it took about 15 to 20 minutes for me to install this. And it's important to note that it does require a common wire for installation. So if you don't have one of those, it's not gonna be compatible. But if you do have a common wire, you're gonna be able to install this with most systems. I've got it installed on an HVAC system with a gas fired furnace and an air conditioner, but it also works with heat pumps as well as it's going to work with dual stage heating and cooling 
and it works with accessories like dehumidifiers and humidifiers. So it has a wide range of compatibility. The main feature upgrades from previous generations are that this Wi-Fi smart thermostat does allow you to use those Sensei room sensors, whereas a lot of previous generations did not have that compatibility. So that's the main selling point. The display is also much nicer and the device is a little bit smaller than other generations and it just has a nice updated look. It looks really sleek and clean on the wall and I really like how the numbers show up and the brightness of the display is adjustable as well as how it just looks on your wall. It's a nice looking thermostat and very intuitive and easy to use. The app as you could see was easy to use and it works with both Alexa and Google Home voice assistants. Overall, it's been a reliable, easy to use smart thermostat and works on the Sensei app. So thank you for watching this review of the Sensei Touch 2 smart thermostat. We hope you enjoyed it. Thank you and we'll see you next time.